Now, when we understand that, and the Holy Spirit begins to move us to this place of believing the gospel, the power of God unto salvation, maybe we should look at it a moment. Keep your hand in Romans chapter 3. Come back with me again to 1 Corinthians 15. We looked at it several weeks ago, but I'm sure even the best of us would have forgotten by now what those verses said. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, if you'll drop down to verse 1, and here's the gospel. I've told my classes over the years, I wish I could just force myself to use these verses at least every week. But I don't because we get too covered up with all the other things. But here is where it all has to center, the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. Not a gospel, the gospel. What does that indicate? It's singular, there's only one. I give unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, and which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which, the gospel, by which you are saved if you keep in memory. In other words, if you understand, and that's why I teach. Now, I don't maintain that someone has to know the Bible from cover to cover to be saved. 